In this lab, we're going to do the whole plant transpiration lab, where we're looking at the effect of different conditions on the transpiration rate. So we've got our plants here. We're going to be using impatiens, but you can use any plant that you want, um, whatever's available at your local nursery. And so what we want to do is we want to take the plants out of the container that it comes in. So you want to take the root bowl out, and these plants have recently been watered, so there's a good water source in there. And we're going to put the whole root bowl into our plastic bag. Sometimes it helps to kind of squish it down so it stands upright. And we are going to tie the bag around the root ball. But we're also going to label it with these little tags so that we know the initial mass and the mass as we go for each time that we record our data. So the next three class periods, we are going to measure how much the whole plant weighs. So we're going to mass it today, we're going to mass it next class, and then the following class as well. So I'm just tying it off. You want to tie it at the base of the plant to make sure that the entire root ball is enclosed in plastic. So the only way the water can get out is really through transpiration in the plant. And we want to do that to all of our plants. We're going to record the mass of each of those plants. And so we're going to write that mass on there. So it looks like 96.61 grams. So 96.61 for our initial mass for that plant. I'm just gonna put that aside. Do the same thing with the other three plants. This one is 92.36. Seventy four point four nine. Eighty nine point four zero. Okay, now that we've got all of our plants in our little bags, what we want to do next is we're going to put them in the different conditions. It does recommend removing the flowers, but you don't have to. Just consider that if the flowers fall off, you want to also mask those as well in the end makes it easier to remove the flowers, but you don't have to remove the flowers. So one of them is gonna stay in our room conditions. So we'll just use our little one as our room, and that's our control. One of them is gonna go in the light, one of them is gonna go in an area with a fan, and then one of them is gonna go into an area with mist. And how we do the mist is we take a large bag, so we've got a two gallon bag. And what we wanna do is we're going to use a spray bottle and we're just gonna mist in the bag. And that's gonna simulate humid environments. And we're gonna put one of those in there. simulates 
a humid environment. And so that will be left on our counter with our control. Keep it standing up, so I'm gonna lean it up against the sink. And then one is gonna go over into our area with a fan, and one is gonna go into our area with the light cart. So let's go grab these and take them over to where they need to go. So we're gonna walk them. And so over here, we have an area in our fume hood that has a little fan and the fume hood is going. And so we're going to let that sit in there with the fan. And then we're gonna carry the last one over here to our light cart and we're gonna place that one in the light cart. And then they will sit there until our next session where we will record our data in two days and then our class after that, we will record our final data and we'll measure change in mass over time. We'll also collect the class data and we will use class data averages to calculate our transpiration rate. Okay, we're gonna pick up our plants from the light cart and from the wind by the fan and we're going to carry them back over to the balance and we're going to measure the change after it's been in those various conditions for a couple of days. So we're measuring now two days later. So this was our light. So we're gonna put that on the balance. And now our mass is 85.55 grams. So 85.55 grams. Our fan. It's gone down to 83.26. Then we have our room, our control, and that's at 72.16. And then we have the one that's in our plastic bag. So move that from the bag. Dry that off a little bit. Since there's now moisture on the outside. We don't want to mess that. So just kind of drying the bag a little bit. So 96.97, 96.97, it looks like it went up slightly but that's probably because there's water on the string and on the bag so it really shouldn't go up at all but slightly because the bag has gotten wet from the moisture in the bag. So we're gonna put those things back again. So we're gonna leave that on the counter. This one was our room. And we'll take these two back to the wind and back to the light cart. And we'll let them sit again until next class period. So this one goes back to the fan. And then this one goes back in our light cart and we'll let that sit again until next class. Again, we're gonna pick up our samples, one from the light. We're gonna grab the one from 
the fan. And we're gonna carry these over to the balance. And we're going to measure the change in mass again. to 62.22 grams and the one that was in the wind went down to 64.16 and then we've got our room condition here so here is our room down to 67.27 and then we have the one that was in the mist let's dry that off we've got some flowers that seem to be Off, so we do need to keep those in there, but we want to get the moisture off. So all these little flower parts, I think might have gotten a little bit broken. And we have one flower, two flowers still in the bag. We want to keep that mass in there as well. And that's at 96.93, 96.93 grams. And those masses seem to actually have gone up slightly, but that's just because it's probably picks, picked up moisture from the bag. So you can see little water drops on the bag and things like that. So essentially, it hasn't changed in mass the whole time, but the other ones we can definitely tell have decreased in mass. So what we really wanna do is we wanna see which one has the greatest change, which one lost the most mass. And so we can use our data. We'll also collect class data, and we will graph the average of the class data and see which environmental factor has the greatest effect on transpiration and so we will can compare all of that to our control which is our room condition plant so we will look at the class data and then analyze our data from there